Hello, my name is Sebastian Quintero, and welcome to Lesson 3 of the Kickstart Java Curriculum, in, in which we'll be covering classes, objects, and methods today. So what are classes and objects? So a class is essentially what is used in Java to describe the contents of a certain variable in which it gives it certain characteristics or qualities that you can use throughout the program. And, um, you know, so it has an, a large amount of data fields and qualities. So you could call this an instance variable. And it would be basically used to define the operations, which will be used for methods, which we will talk about soon. Um, but basically, this object within a class has a large amount of qualities that you can assign to it. And a good way to, you know, understand this uh, concept is by using the idea of cars. So there are very, many different types of cars. You have cars of different colors, of different manufacturers, of different um, structures, and different fuel types. So we can basically put this under one class of cars. And within this class, there are multiple objects that could have different qualities. You know, as you could see here, these three different cars have multiple qualities that that differentiate itself from a regular car. So those would be objects within a class. And the method basically in Java is what you what you do with that that information, how you can display it to the user, um, use it you know for algorithms or formulas, and it's it, it's um it's a really integral part of Java that it's um, you know sets its foundation for for future endeavors in that concept. So here we have an example code. We're going to go into a sample program later in the screencast. But uh, as you can see here, we're defining a class known as smartphone. And basically, this list here is its different qualities you know, of the object. So we have the manufacturer, things like the model, um, and then storage and screen size. But it's important to understand how to, to write these things. So as if you've paid attention to lesson two of this curriculum, we know the difference between strings, doubles, and integers. Um, you know, when you would use strings for, um, for using words, so just describe things, more qualitative data, while doubles and integers would be for quantitative. So you have storage and screen, and screen size as actual numbers, so as, you know, 8 gigabytes or 11.6 inches, you know, as an example. And then you would have manufacturer being Apple or iPhone, and then the model being, you know, it's different brand. Um, so basically, right under, we have what the a red line of code would be to define uh, the object within this. So we have the a use of new to define the object as under this class. And then right next to it, we have its arguments. So we have the iPhone corresponding with the manufacturer, the iPhone X being the model, 8 gigabytes of cor um, cor correlating to the storage, and then three uh, uh, correlating to the screen size. Now, obviously, these are open to interpretation because, um, you know, since you have doubles, it can be decimals, and you can't have letters within the in these variables. But it's you know, it's just important to outline these and, uh, and point out these sorts of issues when doing code. And basically, if you continue to follow the parameters, it will successfully be able to run. Uh, so constructors are also very important in this in this concept. Uh, basically, outlines the default settings for all objects within a class. So every time you define a new object, it's going to go through the same process. So a perfect example is finding uh, using various uh, values for a radius of a circle. Now, in this sound of code, as you can see here, it's using the radius r to determine both the area and the circumference through these equations. And the whole concept of this code revolves around whatever this value is, radius of r. So the constructor makes it so that in order for the code to run, you need to input a value r in order to uh, return values of area and circumference, in which it would return that exact value. So just an important terms and functions you can use um, when defining classes and objects, which are very important if you want to, um, you know, develop in this in this area. So we have things like floats. Uh, it can hold um, uh, very long uh, types of data. Um, so it could be things like pi, um, you know, which goes on infinitely, and it's basically an improved double. Um, a character, um, you know, this is the simplified short uh, version, but it holds only one character. So it could be a letter, a number, or a symbol. It, it, it's simple. Um, it could be, you know, used for, for simpler aspects of code, which uh, it, it can really make your life a lot easier if you, if you have these qualities. Uh, and then you have new, which, as we said before, creates the new object. So we have new smartphone being an object under the class 
of my iPhone. So, I'm oh, sorry, uh, other way around. But uh, and then we have its arguments right here, and and then we have bytes. Uh, what you need to know about byte, it's just a storage unit. Um, you know, this is just not really important. You just, it's important for you to know that what a byte. Um, what what the role of it is if you ever hear it uh, it's basically a storage unit for storing arrays which we will cover in lesson seven and um, memory and uh, how it's useful for, run, run, for running your code and then we have a short which is basically uh, it complements the int um, it, it only will store up that integer to a certain value and same concept with long uh, but uh, that's mainly used for large scale calculations so if you know counting the number of sand grains or uh, you know calculating world population and certain percentages you know that those types of uh, that type of stuff um, so here we have another example um, you know you're, we're using the length the width and height of public class box to determine the volume of the object soapbox um, so you know uh, the creator of this program you know did a very simple job of just outlining what you know what you what your x y and z values are and then just determining your volume by multiplying but it's important that we don't get confused right so clearly this individual forgot uh, you know to label breadth and width as different things so it's really important that you can you keep a level of consistency when declaring objects and classes because it can really get confusing once you once you um, get into it so and then methods um, you know the same idea everything that's within that class will be running through with the same method you know if we were to print out a certain line of code that uses those values and it's an important thing to differentiate is between public and private functions uh, public functions basically uh, allow you to inter intertwine with other classes within uh, a project so as you can see here we have the methods class if it, since it's public anything that it calls from here would also be interpreted by the circle and box class so if any uh, any variables or objects are the same it would have a uh, you know a domino effect as you could say and a private class does the exact opposite and makes it independent from those other classes and allows you to just to focus on the line of code in front of you so if we can um, quickly just show this example code right here so here we have public class bird so um, we have here defining the four character qualities or parameters for public class bird we have the weight which is as a double species and color are as strings you know as a macaw penguin and then color would be red blue green and then we have the int as an age um, so here we're basically defining the public class as bird by outlining it once again and, and then you know just correlating correlating the weight with each other and then uh, this would basically return any values that you get from here so basically right here is when you was where you're defining the new object of bird so we're going to use an ostrich as an example so you have the class the new object equals the new uh, the new object in the class and here you define the weight the, the species the age and the color just as we as described right above right so if you were to run this code it would say this bird is a get species the species is ostrich and then new line it is 135.6 pounds is seven years old and is black so if we were to compile it and run it we would get that right here this bird is an ostrich it is 135.6 pounds is seven years old and is black so you know in essence um, classes and objects can really be used for um, connecting a lot of the values and correlating them with other parts of the program that it, it can it really makes it much simpler uh, and it, it is very easy to, uh, to use in practical scenarios and um, if you want to you know continue to learn more there are very uh, multiple sources online that can help you but um, that's that'll be all for this screencast and we'll see you in the next one thank you